So this is kind of a 30 years of bodybuilding, all summed up in one room basically. So I'm gonna show you my freezer that I was talking about. Yeah, so they gave me this. It's a, a real sword made by a real swordsmith in Scotland. I guess they hammered it out on the anvil. Freedom! Yeah. How you guys doing? So today we're gonna go home to the legendary Branch Warren. We're gonna do a house door MTV crib style. We're gonna check his uh, toys, his uh, trophies and medals, and we're gonna see what he eats and what he has for stories to share. Let's roll. So, guys, gonna knock the door. Let's see what what we can expect. What's up, Ashkan? Hey, bro. That's what, brother. Good to see you, man. Hey, man. Good, man. Come on in. Thanks, man. That's cool. It's a uh, difference in the heat. <laughs> a little Texas heat. Yeah. A little triple digits. Yeah. So, we're cool, man. Well, welcome to, welcome to my home. Thanks, so, man. We've been at this house for about two years now. All right. And uh, So, uh, come on in. I'll show you around. All right. Cool. Where do you want to start? Well, we'll start here in the office. All right. So, this is kind of a 30 years of bodybuilding. Oh, Summed up in one room, basically, so if you can make it that simple. So I'll give you a little tour real quick. So, sure. <clears throat> we'll start off with these. So these are, I won these shows at the Lila Brada competition in Houston, 1992. Wow. So um, I won that, I went to that show, and uh, I, I won the teenage division, the novice division, and the open division. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I was, like overall, basically. Yeah, I won all, right. all three divisions. Teenage, novice, and the men's division. Fast forward a number of years, I turn pro, going to have my career with his son, Hunter. Um, his first show, first victory is in Houston, in my show, the Branch Run Plaza. Oh, so which one would you see, say it's like the most, uh, you know, uh, valuable for you? This one right here, this is the National Championships in 2001 mm -hmm. um, on the heavyweights, turned my pro card. Um, you know, back then it was super hard to turn pro. Yeah. Uh, you know, as an American, you know, they gave out six pro cards in year seven. Yeah. Well, yeah, most six. A few occasions, occasions, yeah. You won the, you had to win the overall at the USA. Yeah. So not class winners. You could win your class and still not turn pro. Yeah. At the nationals, you had to win your class to turn pro, and then at the North American, if, which included you know all of North America, an American could win, or it might be Canadian or yeah, yeah. Mexican or something. Um, so it was six, only six guaranteed American could class get to turn pro. So yeah. it's very hard. Mm -hmm. I think you know at the Masters Nationals last year they gave away several hundred pro yeah. cards nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, when, when I turned pro, there was three pros here. Ronnie Coleman, yeah. Branch Warren, and Johnny Jackson. In, 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 in the Dallas world. That was wow. it, so it meant something. All right. <clears throat> it still means something, but it's just not a... It, as it, a as you have more chances to yes. get your pro yeah. card. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, it was a little more exclusive, a lot more exclusive back then. So, All right, I get it. The second one, which was just as important to me, was uh, this one right here. Uh, the 2012 Arnold Classic. Um, you know, six months prior to that, I had a tour my house for 30 days out from uh, the uh, 2011 Mr. Olympia. Yeah. I just, uh, I just won the 2011 Arnold Classic. I got second at the, and third at the Olympia. I was the top, you know, one of the favorites to win the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tore my quad completely off the bone 30 days before the 2011 Olympia. And um, so I uh, had to reattach 48 hours later. And Left or right? The right one. The right one. And so um, I was, uh, I don't know, three days post-surgery. All right. And, um, you know, my legs in a cast, I can't walk, can't do anything. And uh, <clears throat> I told my wife, I'm gonna defend my title and do Arnold. She goes, in six months? I said, yeah. And uh, wow. she brought me a plate of chicken and rice and said, well, you better start eating. <laughs> and, uh, One thing I'm just thinking like right away is that there's a lot of, you know, history and memories in this room. Uh, probably means a lot to you. So do you make a lot of important business decisions in this room? I do. Yeah, I sit here and um, I do, uh, I do a lot of work in this room. I work here in the mornings. Yeah, I think, you know, these things, at the end of the day, you know, this is just a piece of, you know, bronze or whatever and some wood, but uh, it's what it is, the memories that you yeah, yeah. Bring, bring with you. Back, yeah, so you don't, you know, you don't forget. And uh, that, uh, I think that's what it's, uh, 
what it's all about. All right. All right. So, so next question. Which room is the, the one that you spend most of your time? Most of my time? Yeah. In the kitchen, probably. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I knew yeah. it. So, yeah, so I think, you know, that's, I think the bodybuilder, I think. Uh, yeah. I think most guys would agree, man. Your kitchen is where you spend. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, and that's just kind of, you know, the, the gathering spot where everybody goes. So. Yeah. So can we check the kitchen? Yeah. That's your question. This is where most of the time gets spent. So it's our kitchen, living room, dining room. So we spend a lot of time here. And then, of course, this time of year, a lot of time in the backyard too in the evenings and on the weekends at the pool. So if I'm not at the farm, my daughter loves to swim, so uh, and so does Maggie. So uh, we're all in the pool. All the steaks go down. <laughs> yeah, so we have the refrigerator here and freezer. We have another refrigerator freezer in the laundry room, and then I have another freezer in the garage. So uh, you say, well, why do you need that much? Well, because as you guys know, I love to hunt. And uh, when I was competing, I, I usually dieted a lot on, uh, on bison and wild game. So uh, when you get a bison, like the last bison I got, I got 700 pounds of meat off of it. <laughs> so it takes up a lot of space. So uh, got a big freezer in the, in the garage. Got another one in the laundry room and of course the one here in the kitchen. Hey Brad, you said in the evenings in the Texas heat, you like to chill out at the pool. Can we check out the pool? Absolutely, man. So if you live in Texas, it's almost a necessity. You've got to have a pool. So uh, not everybody does, but uh, it's, uh, it's pools are like a big pain in the butt. But when it's 110 degrees like it is right now, it's so worth it. So y'all come check it out. Oh, who's this? Hey, so this, this is my girl, Maggie. So, so Maggie's had her for almost nine years. So she's my shadow. Where I go, she goes. The house we had before this, we had a big, huge pool. So of course we got a pool here. And uh, my daughter loves to swim. And uh, most evenings in the summer, we're out here. So getting in from work, daughter gets in from school and gymnastics and we're usually in the pool, swimming and playing and trying to beat the heat. So nothing's better than when you work out, come home and jump in. Wait, wait, good friend, what's that? <clears throat> so my daughter is uh, 10 years old. She's been doing gymnastics since she was probably, I don't know, four or five years old. And uh, so she right now in the summertime, she's doing seven hours of gymnastics a day. Uh, and then when school starts, she'll cut that back a little bit. But uh, so after seven hours of gymnastics, she comes home and wants to practice more. She's very driven and very motivated. So this is a, we got our balance beam so she can practice, practice her beam routine. And then so we have mats and everything in the garage so she can uh, practice and do that stuff too. We're about to get her a bar so she can practice her bars. So um, she's uh, doing very well and uh, super motivated and driven. So it reminds me of her mama. Never shoot stuff I don't eat, but I uh, like to deer hunt, elk, stags, all the stuff I hunt. So, uh, like I said, I keep the freezers full of meat. So, this is uh, what I do. If you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so you have a theater over there? Yeah. So we got a theater room here. So uh, bring some food up here and some drinks. Keep back and love watching football. So football season kicks off. I'm up here watching the games and of course we watch all kinds of movies and. I'm not a big uh, TV watcher, but I do like Yellowstone. But just sitting here and watch YouTube. <laughs> you know what? I wasn't really. Uh, the other house was really big, like this one, but uh, we didn't have a movie room or TV you know, a theater room, so I didn't really see that. I don't watch, like I said, I don't watch a lot of TV and stuff, so I didn't really see the value in it until you know, we bought this house. And, um, and I was like, I went in here and the first time we watched a movie in here, I was like, this is badass. Yeah. And, Hey, come on. You gotta go in the house. Go ahead, show you my freezer that I was talking about. Yeah. So, I used to get shoot something, I go hunting in October. I used to get a buffalo, an elk, whatever. And uh, so the freezer's full. So, now we're in August, we're at the end of the year, so I'm running really low. So, I'm getting ready to go hunting as soon as the uh, elk season and bison season opens. So, where do you hunt bison? Oh, Wyoming. All right, so we got two freezers here. So we're getting a little bit low on oh, meat. Usually this thing is stacked to the, to the brim as well as that one. Okay. That one's already empty. And, uh, That's bison, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we got strip loins, top sirloins, 
We got fillets. Uh, we have a ground up. Not the same. So this is a, this is actually hamburger. Mm -hmm. uh, this from deer. All right. deer. This is nice. uh, off my family's ranch. All right. Texas. So. But all of it's a pretty lean, yeah. Super lean, and it's uh, the healthiest meat you can get. Ranch, thanks for having us, man. Absolutely. Sure. Welcome anytime. Thanks, bro. So, see you soon. Thanks for coming out. Have a safe trip back to Sweden. All right, guys. That was a house dog branch warren. Super cool to be able to do this. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We'll be back. Boom.